Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is Connor. You guys can call me Superior today. Pumped to bring you guys a ridiculous gameplay by a ridiculous Call of Duty player. Now, this is, to my knowledge, the second DNA bomb ever gotten with the brand new DLC weapon added to get out of supply drops. Um, the blunderbuss. Now, this is actually gotten by my good friend JGlove16. He's a he's a Call of Duty streamer over on Twitch.tv. I'll link his Twitter and everything down in the description. You guys can go check him out uh, and give him a follow. So, like I said, this is the second DNA bomb ever gotten with the blunderbuss. He's actually using the musketeer version of it, which is a professional variant. So, you know, obviously he wasn't lucky enough to get the legendary uh, version, the uh, dragon fire, which every single person wants. I want it. You want it, and I bet even there's even a few people watching this video that were lucky enough to have it. But the blunderbuss is a ton of fun gun to use. I'm sure, um, you know, a lot of you guys have already used it and already tried it out and already at least got to use it for at least one game, whether you picked it up off the ground or whether you actually have the weapon yourself. But it's a lot of fun to use. But in my opinion, it's it's pretty much garbage. Like it looks cool, it's fun to run around with, and it's extremely good at close range. But uh, it's like close range and when I say close range I mean might as well go up and punch them or use your knife at that point because it's not really good um, at medium range you're not even going to get a hit marker and at long range um, it's uh, it's completely useless at long range so getting a DNA bomb with this weapon is a huge accomplishment it's very difficult to do and there's no way even if I played this game for 365 days straight without sleeping that I could even get on like a 15 kill streak now given the players he was playing against in this gameplay weren't exactly Exactly the best players in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, but in order to get a DNA bomb with this gun, it's gonna have to be against bad players. You know what I mean? You're not gonna get a DNA bomb with the blunderbuss playing against Optic Nanchon, and I think that's kind of understandable. Um, you know, since he was using this weapon and not something like a BAL 27 or AK-12 or something that's you know a little bit easier to use. So. Uh, you know, the Musketeer came out on Tuesday, and uh, the only way you can use it is if you get it from a supply drop, because there's the normal variant of the gun, there's just the, or, or did I say Musketeer, I meant Blunderbuss, the Blunderbuss came out on Tuesday, there's the normal variant of it, and you unlock the normal variant when you unlock a different variant in a supply drop, so for example, uh, when Jay Gluff got the Musketeer in the supply drop, uh, it unlocked the Musketeer variant of the Blunderbuss, and it unlocked the normal variant of it, so it's kind of cool, uh, whenever you get one weapon, it's basically like getting two out of a supply drop because it just unlocks that entire like weapon category which is pretty neat so i hope you guys enjoyed the world's second dna bomb with the blunderbuss absolutely crazy gameplay it's something that i could never do but jay glove was good enough to do check him out his link will be in the description hope you guys enjoyed the video click the thumbs up on button on the video that'd be super awesome subscribe to the channel if you guys are new have a fantastic day everyone i'll see you guys in another video later today peace out